guys welcome back to rxk it's kim and i am back with my seven month lock update so i got some natural light going on and as promised i am here the same day that i got my retwist so i'm gonna do a 360 for you all so you can see there you have it i am loving it um i got my hair retwisted by hair by locked empress she's on instagram she's here in texas and i'm so grateful that i found her um i am really loving my hair and this natural light is allowing me to see how my um skin routine has been paying off for me I normally have really acne prone skin so this right here even though you see some spots is progress for me um comment below if you're interested in seeing like the before pictures and knowing what I've done so far to get my face to this state like I'm not wearing any makeup but my eyebrows are microbladed and I owe you guys that video as well but yeah if you're interested in my skin routine um, and seeing my skin journey because I'm not done yet. I'm still working on it. Like I said, comment below. Um, this time when I got my hair retwisted, I washed it at home myself. I used the Kinky Curly Come Clean and the Talia Waheed, the Great Detangler that I showed you guys in the wash routine video. Um, I pretty much just washed it before I left. I put the conditioner in on my way to and i kept it in all the way until i got to my hair appointment and then she retwisted it with a concoction of oils that she normally uses when i go to her and that is about it um when i washed my hair this time i did notice um some shedding but not a whole lot but it's something that i didn't notice before when washing my hair i do understand that hair shedding and falling into like the end of the lock and tangling um, within the locked hair is part of the locking process, but I thought it was really interesting seeing the hair actually like falling out as I was washing it. Not a lot, like I said. Um, around my hairline, I have been getting a lot of um, like buildup. I have this one lock here and it's like dirt or something and water from when I wash my face. But this lock right here, you see that? It has something crusty that I've been just picking out day by day. I think it's a combination of the uh, face washes and like dandruff. And that's really all it could be, face products and just dandruff and water constantly being on it. But I'm going to keep picking at it and hopefully it'll come out. Um, I said I would kind of prevent that from happening by using my sweat band. And let me show you guys what it looks like. This band that really works while I'm working out. And it prevents my hairline from sweating and causing my eyes to burn. So my scalp is really oily naturally. So I don't add oils or anything like i told you guys unless i just washed and retwisted my hair but i use this band here the brand is dry sweat um and this is what it looks like on the inside that tag right there is a little bit aggravating so i'm probably going to cut it off but pretty much i just put it on my hair like this when i'm working out And it pretty much catches all the sweat and prevents um, it from getting in my eyes. But, but I figure, and my hair is normally dry when I take it off. So it really absorbs the sweat. So when I wash my face, I'm going to start putting this on so that my edges don't continue to get wet 
two times a day or three times a day or whatever when I'm showering and washing my face. And hopefully that mitigates whatever is building up on my edges. But yes, um, unfortunately guys, I have not counted my locks yet, but I promise you the next lock update that I do, I will count them. So today it was a, a choice between having my locks counted or coming to you guys with video footage of my fresh retwist. And I chose the footage of the retwist. Um, so next one, I got you guys, I promise. Um, this is my little lock that we can, I continue to point out to see progress. So like here you see these little hairs just wrap it around it but they come back out anyway but you see it's a little better but yeah no more coils they're locking all right so that's up close and personal Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoy seeing what my hair looks like at the seven month mark. Again, I will provide you guys with that lock count on next month's update. So outside of that, comment below and let me know if you wanna see the skin routine, the microblading experience. And yeah, I think those are the only two, other two. All right, bye guys.